my uterus is on the outside of my body. I'm holding it in my hand. Hi, I am Dr. Shannon M. Clark, and I am a double board certified maternal fetal medicine specialist and OBGYN, and I am on TikTok at the TikTok Baby Doc. That is a very interesting video. Please go watch it. This uh, uh, TikToker is talking about how the day after she gave birth, her uterus came through her vagina and out into the vaginal opening. Why did that happen? Well, let's first talk about some anatomy. Here is what normal anatomy would look like. You have the bladder in front, then behind that is the vaginal vault with the cervix and the uterus on top, and then behind that is going to be the rectum. Down here is what we see uh, as uterine prolapse, where the uterus comes through the vagina, and then the cervix, which is the, the end part of the uterus, and even some of the uterus can come prolapsing through the vaginal vault and even outside of the body. This is what the uh, uh, labia and the vaginal opening or introitus would look like in normal anatomy. And then this is with the cervix prolapsing through the introitus or vaginal opening. Now, uterine prolapse is more common in those who have had multiple vaginal deliveries. And for most individuals, they will recover over a period of time, but then there are some that don't. And some of those individuals will even go on to have uh, pelvic floor support defects. If this happens to you, you need to be evaluated. It is not normal. It doesn't happen to a lot of individuals in the postpartum period. And it is especially important that you see someone if you're having symptoms like pain, bleeding from that tissue that's prolapsed, inability to urinate, or inability to do number two. And telling someone in that situation to just do Kegel exercises is likely not going to work. You need to make sure you're, you're evaluated by someone who understands what's happening and knows how to manage it or can send you to someone who does know how to manage it. You can also ask to see a pelvic floor physical therapist as individuals who do specialize in these types of things. Please be sure to advocate for yourself.